Right, some people in the community are frustrated because tomorrow morning an old KCPS school will be demolished. The second that the neighborhood was successful in inching forward, they kind of get the rug pulled out from under them and this go ahead on the demolition. The school is Greenwood Elementary and neighbors say it's a fixture on the city's east side. The old school building is on 27th Street between Monroe and Cleveland. It was built in 1906, but it's been empty since 1997. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed talked with some neighbors today. Kat, why are these neighbors pushing back on the demolition so late? Well, Dia, we actually first covered these plans back in August, and that's when the South Roundtop Neighborhood Association um, started working on plans. They actually started back in June, but we covered it in August to turn Greenwood into a community center. They're calling on leaders to stop this demolition, but the school district says it's too late to pump the brakes. The South Roundtop Neighborhood Association is having an emergency meeting. This is very important. This school sits in our neighborhood. They're making signs to hold in front of Greenwood Elementary Monday morning when it's supposed to be torn down. The historic fabric of our city is depending upon historic structures being kept up. To me, it has a little family. Um, Mean. Tom Platt is the great great grandson of Dr. Greenwood, the superintendent for whom the school is named. There's a lot of history here, affirmed Friday by a city commission, which said Greenwood is eligible for the historic register. Later that day, the neighborhood association learned the demolition was happening. The second that the neighborhood was successful in inching forward, they kind of get the rug pulled out from under them and this go ahead on the demolition. That's Kate Heinen from UMKC Center for Neighborhoods. They've been working with the neighborhood association on its plans to turn Greenwood into into a community center. Plans the school board says didn't come together in time. We did not receive the information back that um, is required uh, from our from the standards of the school board's perspective, our repurposing process. The school board approved a demolition contract in July because of safety concerns. Chair Melissa Robinson says for the past two or three years, they've been talking with people who live next to Greenwood and everyone wants it torn down. The district says pulling out of the demolition contract now could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. We applaud their efforts. Um, unfortunately, it didn't coincide with our repurposing efforts, and so we weren't able to move forward in the ways that they wanted us to. Um, and I am sorry that that happened in that way. But the district owns the structure now. Still, the South Roundtop Neighborhood Association is reaching out to elected officials in the hopes this building can stick around. We're just hoping that someone that can turn this all around will get become aware and step in. So Dia, another concern this neighborhood association raised was uh, surrounding the lead inside the building and risk for contamination in the area. There's actually a daycare right across the street wow. that's 24 hours, uh, but the district says they're using a wet demolition process to prevent particles from impacting the community. So they are investing some extra money to use that process. Uh, the neighborhood group will be out at the school beginning at 7 a.m. All right, Kat, thanks for that.